there. We did the reversals. So today I'm going to give you problems where I tell you, okay, I want to make a solution with a certain molarity. I want to have this many milliliters of solution. How much stuff do I mix into it? So the reverse, finding mass, going down molarity. So I'm just going to do two example problems. The equations you already have written down. So we're just going to take those equations and switch them around a little bit. So let's just start with an example problem. Uh, let's do suppose I wanted to make a solution. Uh, wait, A, this should give you the concentration, a six molar solution. say it's going to be six molar sodium bromide, N-A-B-R, okay, I should have worded that a little bit differently, but uh, we're making a six molar solution of sodium bromide, so we're just going to mix the salt in there, we know what the concentration is, and we know how much we want to make, the question is how much salt do we measure out to dump into the solution. We're going to have 25 mils of water. We want to make a six molar solution. So let's list our givens first. Concentration is six molar. Volume is 25 mLs. You know, whenever we're dealing with molarity, we always want to get our volume into liters. So let's do that now. How much is that? 0 0.025. 0 0.025. Okay. So that's done with. All right, so what we want to know is mass. How much mass, how much sodium bromide are we going to measure out on the scale? All right, so M, well, let's do that. M is question mark, right? Yeah, two A's. Huh? M's lowercase. Um, this is, yeah, molarity is capital M. Lowercase M is mass. All right, so let's uh, find an equation that has a mass in it. So we got number of moles equals mass divided by molar mass. There's an equation with an M in it, right? And we have, actually we don't have that. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to solve this equation for mass first. How do we do that? We're going to multiply both sides by M. Everybody looked at me like it's Friday. <laughs> That's all all right, mm <laughs> times number of moles <coughs> equals uh, mass. Okay, so here's an equation that's solved for mass. This will get us our answer if we have these two things. This we can find, we just look on the periodic table for sodium and bromine down and again. But we don't have number of moles yet. So now we've got to go back a little bit and find number of moles first. So put this off to the side, we're going to come back to this at the end and find our answer. Okay? So we need an equation that has number of moles in it. So that one looks like this. Molarity, capital M, is number of moles over volume. We've seen this equation before too. We're looking for number of moles now, so we need to solve this for M. Alright, so multiply both sides by V. Get rid of that. This solving we only have to do once, right? Now we're done with that. So here's our other equation that we're going to use in these problems right here. From here it's easy. We have molarity, we have volume. We're going to find number of moles. We're going to plug that into there. We're going to find mass. Two steps. So let's do it. Volume is 0 0.025 liters. Five liters. Times concentration, which is 6 molar. 
six times twenty five is one hundred and fifty, right? Zero point one five, and that's going to be moles. So now we have n, right? That's that right there. N equals zero point one five moles. So now we can take this and plug it into this equation. See if we can write it down here. So it's so zero. 0.15 moles times molar mass will give us the mass of the stuff we need to measure out. And what's the molar mass of sodium bromide? 103. Right, because sodium is 23, right? Yep. And so I guess bromine is 80, is that what it is? Yep. Alright, so we're adding those together. So that's 103. So 103 times 0.15, what's that give us? 103 times what? 0.15. 15.45. Okay. Grams. Okay, so <coughs> a lot of stuff on the board, but all we really did was two things. We took this equation here and we used it to find number of moles. We just plugged in the two givens we had and we found the number of moles. From number of moles, we multiplied by molar mass, know what the substance is, and we found how much stuff we have to add in. This problem is so far the most realistic thing. If somebody tells you, I want you to make a solution, I want you to make maybe 50 milliliters of it, now you know how to do it. You use this, you figure out how much stuff you got to add, you dump it into your water, and you make your solution. All right, let's do another problem. <coughs> Everybody got this written, so I can erase? Yep. Yeah. Right. Should I do another one or should I stop? No, 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 once you have these two written down, right, everything's easy. So make sure you have those somewhere on the side. So we're just going to use the same two equations again. In fact, I'll write them over here off to the side so that it'll speed things up. So volume times molarity equals n. Compound in particular you want to use here? Potassium uh, chloride. Potassium chloride. KCl. That works. Uh, okay. So how much? So again, I'm asking for mass, right? Same thing. Same givens. So, our concentration, again, is 3 molar. Our volume is 200 milliliters. What is that in liters? That is um, exactly okay. Alright, we got all our information there. So, let's, let's get rid of this mess. So, again, we're looking for mass. So we need to have these two things. We can find molar mass. We just need to find N first. So we're going to use this equation. So V times M, capital M, volume times concentration equals number of moles. So it's going to be uh, 0 0.2 liters times 3 molar. 3 times 0 0.2 is 0 0.6, right? We don't need to calculate for that. And that's going to be moles. And again, remember, capital M is moles per liter, so that's why the liters cancel, we get moles. All right, so that's the first part. This is N here, N equals 0 0.6. And so now step two, we fill in N there. So 0 0.6 moles 
times molar mass of potassium chloride. What's potassium? Or what's the, you got the whole thing? 74? Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's a little, what's? Potassium is 39, right? So this should be 72. No, is it 70? You're right, 74. I'm sorry. All right, all right. I know. I screwed up. <laughs> Whatever. All right, 74 times 0.6. I'll never question you again. What do you get? 44.4. Thanks. 44.4 grams. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, I was Oh, well. Some of them. It's a dress, you know, the, the gold and white thing. Oh, my God. All right. Questions on this? I have not seen that. Okay. Oh I have not seen that. Don't see it. It's irritating. Nobody should look at that stupid thing. It's obviously going to be